Relaxing the neck and the head. Even the fingertips, rather than being clenched in a ball, they're relaxing back open. Take one deep sigh. The nice inhale. We'll let that exhale out. Imagine if your mental quality was like the quality of water. Imagine even just from that quick body scan, are things a bit more calm? There's been times when I've been on lake trips where if you go out first thing in the morning, it's like smooth glass. It's like a mirror. It's so smooth, so calm. It's just nice to be out there. Whereas sometimes later in the day, the wind starts to kick up and the water gets more choppy and different boats drive by, creating all sorts of waves that it just makes it a little bit more chaotic in nature. Now with our mind and quality, sometimes we have that type of chaos around us and within us. And it's like if we were to look at our reflection in chaotic choppy water, we, we would look at the chaos and assume that that's just us, we are chaos. But if you were to go out during that crystal clear, smooth glass phase and look at your reflection, you can see yourself for who you truly are. So that's the mental quality that we're looking for. Regardless of what goes on around us or within us in the yoga class, we're trying to return to those just deep, calm breaths that bring us to that mental quality like the spot. So that'll be the, the image that leads us into class. So with that, to get us started, begin to take these into the chest. Just like the, an easy boat walk, just bobbing on the waves. Let yourself rock left and right. Nice and relax. So those low back muscles and the hip muscles, how are they connecting to one another today? So, opening the arms up the knees to fall the way over to the left. A moment to feel that smooth, calm breath flow into belly. the right. Especially in these moments of calm where we're just holding a pose for a little while, that's the perfect opportunity for us to try to find our waters within calming down. Chaos goes around us. Sometimes we think that we are chaos. And that's what we're trying to work against. Turning over and over to this idea. Oh, yes, I'm the peak. Any good emotion that I'm wanting to feel starts from that spark within. By feeling it within first, I begin to witness it outside of me as well. One more beautiful, huge breath, let it flow in. Good exhale. Beautiful. So return the hips to the ground. Right leg is going to straighten up the sky. Left leg covers extending out. So going lower is a bit harder. Higher is easier. You choose the distance. 
arms reach up overhead with an inhale. Exhale, we're touching both arms to the outside of that right side. Arms extend back up, switch the legs. Exhale, touch the outside of left side. Inhale, exhale, up to switch. This is one of those chaotic movements where sometimes we take on the chaos. We go through this energizing activity and we start to feel like, why wow, I'm jittery. I've got so much heat in me and around with the heat of the summer. Take another three to each side. Three. Three. Two. One and good. Let both knees bend for a moment. This is where we're going to grab our strap for that palm this again. So, taking your strap, open it all the way up. We're going to create a loop. So, feed the strap through both buckles and back out the last one to lock it in place. And we are creating that hammock where we can put the ball of the right foot into one end and then the back of the head into the other end. You want it to be resting, not too high, where it flips off the crest, not too low, where the head rocks back, get that nice equal spot. And then it's like a hammock. So the head, the weight of it in the hammock is helping to stretch the hamstring. And the back of the neck is also getting that nice stretch from the weight of the leg. The other end. If you keep the left knee bent, that left hand to the depth. If you want to increase it, slide it all the way to the ground. Enjoy the stretch. Try to find yourself in that calm state again, regardless of what just happened a moment ago. Sometimes it's almost like life sends us little moments of chaos like that to ask us, are you going to choose to return to the calm or are you going to maintain the chaos? Life doesn't judge it either way, but it's almost like a good challenge. What am I choosing to experience? Three more long breaths for this half. Whenever that third breath finishes, free off the head, the head can turn to ground. On this strap, still around the ball of this right foot, grip as high as you can with the right hand. So to invite the leg to open up to the right, but have the left hand on the hip to so encourage that foot to stand around as possible. So experience the inner thigh getting a good stretch for a moment. I'm gonna try to tug the toes a little closer to the back wall. So lifting back up, we're grabbing on to that same foot with the left hand, and then start to let the leg cross over the body. Sometimes it's nice to pause at the 45 degree angle. That gets us kind of into the outer hip, maybe IT band, and your big butt. The hip can be a little bit off the ground for this one. If you'd like to stay here, you found a good spot, just rest. If you'd like to continue to twist that straight leg all the way to the floor, that's fine. Gently set it down. That little activation of the hand pulling the foot up to the back wall can help to increase that. Just a
and then spring the foot out, let the legs bend, we're returning this side down to the ground. So softly bend the foot on the ground for that right side, and then let's speed the step left to the down. Back of the head comes in, make sure the little kick is not pushing your head back of the head. A little bit off to the side, and now that you can change the circumference to adjust to the, be the perfect distance. Sometimes it's a little bit too wide, so you really don't feel it. Circle it up to the tight, good hold. If you want more, right leg can begin to slide out. And sometimes when I'm right at the edge, it's like I do this pedal to pedal thing where I'm like pushing the ball of my foot into the habit. Is that strap? So see if you're doing that, see if you can relax the ball of the foot back toward you. And what that does is include the cap in the strap. Last there a little bit longer. So how calm the waters can be just by taking those slow deep breaths. Huge belly breath. The exhale, the head can drop back to the floor. The left hand drop to the side. The hand dripping full. The leg starts to open up to left. Right hand on right hip to keep that side grounded. If you're not as deep in the stretch as you hope for, continue to use the arm strength to pull the pose a little closer to that back wall. And start to extend the leg back up. Grab on with the right hand. Start to tilt the 45 degree angle. Stay or let the foot come all the way down to the ground softly. Then the hand strength would help to pull the toes tight up so that back wall is possible. Like this. And four, three, two, one. Let's 
two. One, feet in the crown right front, straighten the spine up, tilt forward to relax over. We lengthen our spine up, let's open up the knees, the legs open up wide. We're using core engagement to stay lifted tall, so if that's difficult, come bend knees. If not, extension of spine, arms open up to each side. So we inhale for center, exhale, twist to the left hand, and then try to, to aim that left to the right pinky toe, inhale back. Up twist, pinky, pinky toe, and then up. So the air squeezes out. Rising up, the right hand slides down the right leg. The left shoulder curls back so that the shoulders are stacked. And the left arm slides reach up and over. Beautiful. Rise back up. Second side, slide down the left. Right shoulder curls back and step. Move it over. The arm. Rise, hands on the floor in front of you, slowly slide forward. Good. Deep breath into the belly. Deep breath down. Make your way up. Legs on your knees. Start to take a nice pat out. Up and down. Move slowly enough that you can feel yourself extending all the way to the range. Further up and down. Two more. Well, that's that second one from the towel shape of the toes. And then the hips are trying to lead us up. Feel free to pedal through the legs a couple of times. Almost like we're creating a wave of motion. Go back and forth with the feet and down. Exhale. Two, 
good. Good. Take your way up to the top of the mat. And let your foot sway if you're like the ocean. So one knee bend and sway back. The other knee bend then we sway. And then a few times, don't let us let's see if the outer thighs just a little bit. To the center, help, gravity rise, back to your head, up down the heart, shifting your weight onto the left hand, try to see if you can grab right down to right foot to the bottom. We're aiming for quad stretch, so if you don't feel that, try to elbow it under or pull the knees backwards. Quad stretch, standing split. You release the foot and you let it spin all the way up, kind of up to the ground. And as we start to bend the left knee, gently land right to the back of the mat, sweep the arms up sky warrior. The knees continuing to bend, lower yourself. Fingers are continuing to stretch up. Inhale. Exhale, we're twisting. So right hand forward, left hand back. Exhale up. And exhale, open up for you. So left elbow to, right, to left side, right arm up and over. And rise up. Switch it out, right hand to right leg, left hand up to the Ocean wave motion again. Forward. Step. Back. And up. Three. Two. Beautiful. Then either pause, extend the side and go forward, or if you'd like to try for the bind, slide your left shoulder close to the knee so that you can wrap the arm around that thigh, and then try to pull this right shoulder back and step. Straighten that left leg. Like a triangle. Oops. A little bit turned in. So try to ro rotate the back at least. Good. Hands drop down. Plant themselves nice and firm on the mat. Or can you back to plank position? You can always drop the healing plank, but let's try to just float it around that. Breath. Your choice, child. Walk the hands to the outside of the right foot, spiraling the side. I have to step the left foot. Forward. Also, come up to sky. Exhale, hands down to heart. Drop right hand to right side, left hand to the left and over. Put the weight back for this. And then reverse to the Second side. 
Let it go all the way to the farthest reach. And then back up. Back. Shifting your weight onto your right foot. Okay, grab left hand and left foot behind you. We're getting into the quad stretch. So, so up there, open so suits under, or knee pulls back. Resting extended side angle, right? Elbow rest of the, the top thigh. Left arm check is over. Or if you want to up the bind here, start dropping the right shoulder down. And wrap the arms around the thigh. Top shoulder tries to rotate back. Right hand to the floor, the right leg starts to extend, left hand takes the second up leg. Think of the front of the head going to be error rather than really forward. Dropping the hands down, set the left for plank. Right back, a slow chaturanga, and then speaks. Hold your knee press. Go forward and back. Hold the left hand in the top of the side. Right hand in the front of the Switch to the second. Good. So, if we release the second hand, we're going to take our way back and forth between child pose and um, kind of like a sphinx cobra pose, back and forth. Sliding back so the back muscles bend. You're kind of almost like whether the heart is close to the back to the back to the forward. So two more. Back. Forward. More. And just pause. Give your back some time to rest. Child pose. Good. 
our breaths. Just relax those breaths through like a wave of the ocean. Ready for down dog, let yourself start to move. Right. Grab our strap. So placing your hands inside nice and wide. We're going to help to stretch the shoulders out. So I've kind of just got the thumb um, outside and then all the fingers inside. The grip that's helpful for me. So shoulders are pressing down away from ears. And we're just gradually lifting the arms up. Without the belly collapsing back, you're keeping the, it's just lift up the core. Just let it go back as far as it can. And softly lower back down. Take a few rounds like that. Yes, you can adjust it. It's not quite right. Inhale. Exhale. Two. One. Beautiful. We'll take a dancer pose. The option will be with strap to help create a, an ability to reach up and over to our king dancer. But know that if your balance is not feeling that great today, just take regular dancer instead, because King Dancer with the strap could have the potential of falling over if you if you if you're trying to hold yourself here and then you lose it and you know so, so just watch out for yourself first. <laughs> That's fine. No, no shame, not at all. No shame. But if you're taking strap, you're looking great. Then you grab it up over your shoulder, and then you're grabbing both hands into the once you've got the balance there, you would take the foot into the step, then the arm up. With the other one, yep, you got it. Just find that balance. Two. Two. One. Take a little break in between the super bent the knees, hug around the thighs. And just let the spine relax up. Good. That full release, the spine slowly rolls way up. Okay, so one more. Make sure you just trust the left foot. Get up over the left shoulder. Both hands slide in. That would be, you can you can just touch right back wall. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to kick the foot back. It's either way, dancer or the king dancer. I think of the foot back is what creates the lift of the leg up. Two more breaths. Good. As we release, same gentle thing. Bring to bend the knees nice and deep. Hug around the knees. Pull that low back. Decompress. Head is released. You can shake it yes and no.
do it up top. And with your head, slowly roll the spine up. Circle the arms up to the sky. On top of the heart. So we're going to take one more little challenge pose. You could stop anywhere along the progression toward it, and that's fine. <laughs> you got permission. <laughs> but one more challenge, and then all the rest will just be nice stretches all the way through the yeah. So, so it's like, let's let's really roll the yeah. over. You have to be in the path of it. So we're starting from the front foot with the right knee. Bind around the right, this left side. Rotating the right shoulder open. So this left should come to stay. With keeping your fingers flat, option two is popping the right foot up to the top of the mat. Shifting weight into right foot. Less and less weight is a plus foot. You can make the ball of that foot. And to come up to Bird of Paradise, try to keep the line, rise up to the top. If you make it up, maybe you find some extension of that left leg. It's a challenge. Good job. <laughs> this one down there. The stand is the hardest <laughs> work because it's like your whole yeah. weight has to be over it. Yeah. So that's okay. You guys did awesome. <laughs> Let's just take a, a breath to kind of clear the water. So you've got a whole other side to play with. Inhale, exhale. It's all fresh again. Looking with the right foot, the left knee close. Work on that foot of the leg. Left foot back. A little more return. Or your two, exhale. Right for the bind here, around the side. Locate a seat. Transitioning, you're hopping the uh, left foot forward. Weight shifts into left foot, less and less weight is right. And then this is that hard part. You kind of have to like gaze forward, preparing to change where the gaze is as you rise. Yeah, see, we got it. We got it. And then eventually you finish it, but no pressure. Good job. Good work. 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 And I will keep back if you'd like one last little bit of a like to come from kneeling that time, if you'd like to come from ground up that time, right leg is left side squirm. Yep, slide in blank. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Especially after all the back bending we've done, it's all still a shape to go down.
rocking our weight onto the right leg. Left leg swings around. This can be cross leg, left shin step, or left knee step. It just depends on what's comfortable for deep and hips. So from that position, we're going to try for the bind of the hands behind the back. So if you know you need strap already, just grab it in your right hand. Right hand will be the one that's at the base of the neck. Left hand comes from the low back up. You try to inch the fingers close. You've got the flat straight. No pressure if not. Strap is absolutely fine. So lengthening the spine up, the head of that, trying to pull the top elbow more up. That's how we can really get that tricep to be in the neck. And you can feel it's the shoulder or the deltoid on the left side of there. So you can stay here. You could tilt forward. Tilting forward does increase the intensity on the arm. So if you're tilting forward, you have permission at any point to remove the hand if you wish. Just need to that forward pull today. Okay. Weight to left hip. Your leg swings around, cross leg, shin step, or knee step. For me, this is the tighter side because I'm right handed, so I usually do start with the strap for this path. But the um, left hand is the one that's up, the right hand is the one that's going under. Try to see if the class is happening. If not, no shame in using strap, connecting with that. Release the class for the main point. It's all up to you. Slide the feet into cobbler's pose. The bottom, the strap we're taking, still in the glute, take it around your belly like a hula hoop. 
And I call this the flag, the part that's hanging out. See how the flag is pointed to one direction? So you want it to have it point to your body. So you need to have it around to the other side. So you can have it there. That's great. That'll just be there for us in case we want to tighten it later. So we leave this over the thighs, but under the bottoms of the feet. So you can tighten it up a little bit, but don't have it all the way tight because we're going to start heading backwards. And that shape itself does pull it tight. So if you're already at the edge of it, it's going to be too tight. But for this general shape, you're going to start heading backwards onto your calf, and then your elbows, and then elbows slide open. And then from here, this is where you choose how tight you want that elbow is supposed to be. So what kind of hugs your low back and the distress themselves help to press the thighs open. Enjoy that shape for a little while. start to rise. So start to slide your elbows in. You lifting the head up. The elbows switch to hand. I'm going to take just a moment. switch it up so you may need to break things and lengthen it but we're keeping it around our back this time stepping our legs through so essentially we're going to create kind of like a boat pose with the strap holding us this one you do want the strap up and close to armpits as possible and up to the back of the knees as high as possible and then go ahead and tighten yourself up in that shape is time to armpit as you can to me nice and tight. So it's like a like chest the thighs type situation. Good. And then from here, you don't have to slide all the way forward, but you'll start to walk your feet forward, and that will gently hug you into a nice forward fold. Again, you don't have to have the legs all the way straight if that's where you feel like it's stretch for your back. All the if you have that mobility in the back, the legs kind of balance. So you use your hands and your feet to gently walk back in to boat. And then from the boat, kind of pull yourself close so that you can loosen the tightness. And then all the way down and then out. And then we've got one more use of the strap. Pull it just a little tighter than where it was. So something like a beach ball. And then as we lay on our back, you're going to stuff your right leg in it. It's holding the right leg up under the knee. Your left leg can slide long on the ground. So with this strap, you've got the left, so the right leg, but the left arm. Good. So now as you cross this knee over the body into a twist, that left arm has control of where the knee goes. So it has, so you have that 
that the decisions to make. If the arm is pointing down more, it's much more gentle for the hip and the back. If you start to pull the arm up higher, it changes the muscles that are in the twist. So just be playful and find the twist in just the right spot. A couple of good breaths. Take your time, freeing up the arms, slowly return them back to the floor. And then we're going to step this right leg out, step the left leg up to the knee again. Right leg is long on the floor. Got left leg, but right arm. And then again, cross over the body for the twist. The arm chooses the angle. Your second breath complete. Start to free the strap off to the side. If laying flat in Shavasana pulls up, maybe at the point, take it. If your low back would like a little bit more care, you can plant the feet about as wide as the mat. The knees fall into one another. Just gently pull yourself there. You choose. So we're transitioning here to the Shavasana. Imagine you're laying on a surfboard. And it would be a little bit scary if the surfboard was on the choppy waters and there was that chance that you might fall off. So see if you can calm the mental state, and calm the breath, to just simply be laying there, crystal clear waters on a surf. Only movement happening is the movement of the breath.
here, begin to take in the breath. Let's go a little move, bring back to the body. and ways that feel really good. In the cathedral position, let yourself pause for a moment, rolling over to the side. Imagine you're rolling toward your surfboard just to the point where you can kind of start to see your reflection off the at the end of the surfboard, in that water, just notice if you've come to a crystal clear water, notice you can see your reflection. You can see yourself for who you really are. So take a for another breath or two. Eventually coming up to a comfortable seat at the top when you're ready. Here as we join hands together in front of our heart, we recognize that yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. So yoga is us returning back to that calm water rather than the crazy, choppy waters. Because as we calm the waters, we recognize when we look over the edge into our own reflection, when it's calm, we can see ourselves for who we truly are. We don't see the chaos and think that we are the chaos. So with this idea to help lead us on the breath of the time we shared together with the sound of all we can come out. May we be filled with life, happiness, and